Yeah, Alec, great to see you again, mate, down here. You're doing a masterclass for us. How's it going? It's been very good. I mean, the kids are fantastic. We've got uh, age, ages from, I think it's 8 through to 14. Um, but they've all mixed in really, really well. Like I said at the start, the most important thing is that they enjoy it. Yeah. Any questions, I'll try and answer the best of my ability. And I just want them to leave here still loving the game of cricket. If they've picked up one or two tips which will help improve them when they go back to their schools or clubs, then it's been worth an exercise. Do you enjoy working with your Yeah, yeah, yeah it's been good. It's I, I, I love the game of cricket, so I fell in love with it. Probably at the age these, these kids are over the back. Um, and I've loved it ever since. So, yeah, to give the opportunity of, of helping kind of further people's careers is very much high on my agenda. So, whether it's, uh, it's eight or nine year olds, or whether it's the pro players up in Surrey, I'm here to try and help when they listen up to them. Now, you're an ambassador for Surrey Sports Bar. You were down here when we did the Top and Out Centre uh, in March. Yep. What do you think? Well, it's looking brilliant. You know, I'm really looking forward to seeing it when it is completed. But uh, the plans I've seen, absolutely spot on. And it's important that we're, we're able to give an opportunity obviously to the public to the university people but just as important the elite athletes yeah. you know i just believe at times as a country we we don't give enough to the very very best yeah. um, and here i mean it's a five-star gold medal standard facility which can only improve british sport when you were playing at the top level when you were the england captain playing for surrey what were the facilities like fair um but again you know at the time they were good yeah when you look back to what people have now yeah things have improved but you always want to move forward never just settle for uh, for mediocrity I'm always looking at the say for the very very best so facilities are vital um, but the individual's got to have the passion yeah. got to have the work rate yeah. and the dedication that's needed to get to the very very top but if you've got a facility like this here you've got no excuses and that's an important element of the facility along with the passion and the heart for it oh exactly you know if you haven't got a facility you know good luck you know the, you read stories and hear stories about people having to travel from one end of the country to the other just to say find a 50 metre pool or to go and do whatever sport they may be doing well here we're lucky enough to live uh, where we are in yeah. Surrey you've got something right on your doorstep and it's the Ashes we're 1-0 up are we going to win yeah that's easy isn't it yeah. oh, listen up before a ball was bowled in yeah. the series I tipped England to win by yeah. one um, two very even match teams um, but I seriously expect and hope that we do uh, regain the Ashes 2005 was brilliant we got absolutely murdered I went on that tour it. now I'm in Australia it was yeah. you know, we did well to become second in that yeah. tour's race <laughs> I think um, I could have played in that well, I was going to say it was we were terrible yeah. um, but in this series we played some good cricket so uh, yep I'm keeping my fingers crossed expect us to win what impressed me was it was a real battle in that first test but they just stuck in there didn't they and that's the sign of a winning team correct you know you say if it's easy we'd all do it but when it's really tough then you want people to stand up and be counted Paul Collingwood was the man he got England into just about a match uh, position and then obviously James Anderson and Monty Panasar sort of through to the end so brilliant um, didn't play well no. in a Cardiff but took the confidence from that last three or four hours of that game into Lords where we dominated and now got one up but that's sign of a good team isn't it if you're not playing well and you still get a result that is a, it's a good sign correct you know you call it winning ugly yeah. um, or playing ugly at times you can't always be the flamboyant uh, attractive player yeah. at times you've got to dig in deep and that's what the England side have done Alec thanks again for coming down I'll let you get back to the kids I know they want to uh, yeah. take on your expertise and thanks for coming today no worries thanks cheers. very much that's great surreysportspark.co.uk more information about what's happening down here it opens in early 2010 more updates soon thank you